Zopapilla cheesecake. Let me tell you, this is one of my favorite recipes I picked up from coworkers. This tastes great. It combines the wonderful flavors of Zopapilla and cheesecake. So really, for me, this doesn't get much better than this. So let's make our cheesecake layer. We're gonna use a little bit of vanilla. Now I'm zesting an orange here, and then I'm gonna go ahead and squeeze a little bit of that orange juice out of here. If you have lemon, you can do it with lemon, but I think the orange adds a really nice flavor and tastes really good with the cinnamon. So in a large size bowl, we're gonna go ahead and combine two eight ounce blocks of cream cheese, one and a half cups of sugar, and then we're gonna go ahead and add in the vanilla, the orange juice, and the orange zest. Now, I have the exact recipe and ingredients available at copycat.com, so come on over and check out Sopapilla Cheesecake there. So here we're just gonna mix everything with a blender until it's nice and smooth. Now we're gonna make the topping now, and that is two teaspoons of cinnamon combined with a half cup of sugar. We're simply gonna blend these together. And so, you know what? If you like to make cinnamon and sugar toast, you don't need to buy cinnamon sugar. You can make it just like this by combining a little bit of cinnamon and sugar together, and there you go. Perfect cinnamon and sugar mixture. Now, let's go ahead and make the soap peel layer. We're gonna unroll one package of crescent rolls into a dish that you go ahead and spray with a little bit of nonstick spray. You go ahead and pinch and loop these edges together. And you know what? It doesn't have to be too exact because when you bake it up, it all fluffs up. So don't worry about it. Next, we are going to layer our cream cheese onto our pan. Isn't that nice? And we're gonna go ahead and spread that out nice and smooth. And then we are going to put another can of crescent rolls on top. That's right, you need two cans of crescent rolls. So, once you get this all spread out, go ahead and unroll the other can up on top. And you're gonna spread this one out nice and even as well. Again, you don't have to worry about the perforations. Just do your best to kind of pinch them up and close the gaps. And during the baking process, it will take care of itself. Then you're going to spread on the cinnamon and sugar topping. And, but before you bake it, we're gonna do what Paula Dean would do. We're gonna pour over one stick of melted butter over all of this. And then we're gonna put this in a 350 degree oven and go ahead and bake this until it's nice and golden brown. And then you will have yourself a fabulous Sopapilla cheesecake. So hey, if you like this recipe, please give me a big thumbs up here on YouTube. And for more great recipes, come to copycat.com.